What's up guys, we're back today continuing our adventure in Pokemon Radical Red Hardcore Mode and today we're gonna battle Brendan for the fourth time I believe. It's here at the Safari Zone and Brendan just keeps getting stronger and stronger every time. He's got some legendaries as well so without further ado here we go. Brendan leads with a Gengar and we've got Metagross. This is one of those battles that could go either way being super effective against each other. Gengar goes for the Shadow Ball. He is faster unfortunately but Metagross is gonna tank it. We fire back with a huge super effective headbutt. This is gonna deal big damage. Gengar is not quite as bulky as us. He's pretty frail but unfortunately he's gonna hang on thanks to the Focus Sash. Now we are slower, but we've got something for that. We fire off the priority bullet punch and Gengar goes down. Great start to the battle here, getting that Gengar out of the way real quick. And by the way, guys, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want, of course. It does help out a lot though. Now here we see the Skeptile come out next. Now I know some of you are gonna get on me for pronouncing it Skeptile, but that's how I've been saying it since I was 12. So we're gonna say Skeptile. Now we know he's faster here, so we wanna get off some priority chip damage before we go down and we land the lucky crit anyways, and it deals about half of his health but inevitably we do go down to the earthquake and that's Metagross down. But that's okay, Metagross did his job. We really only needed him to deal with that Gengar and we've got something in store for the Skeptile as well and we bring out Talonflame. We go for the acrobatics and Talonflame has the Gale Wings ability, which means while we're at full health, our flying type moves have a plus one priority. So whether or not Skeptile is faster than us, doesn't matter, we hit him with the acrobatics and he goes down. And Tapu Koko comes out next and sets up the electric terrain. Now this is a bad matchup for Talonflame. We're not gonna be able to deal much here. We're really just trading one for one blows here with Brendan. But if we keep it up at this rate, we are ahead. So we'll be fine. Now we tried to go for Flare Blitz here, but Tapu Koko is gonna hit us with the wild charge first. Instead, this is a bit of a misplay. If we had gone for the acrobatics, we would have at least been able to get off some priority chip damage, but it's not a big deal. Tapu Koko is gonna take some recoil damage and we've got something in store for him as well. Now we're gonna bring out Tyranitar here to deal with this Tapu Koko and I picked up Tyranitar thinking it would be great to have a sand weather setter but of course this is hardcore mode they're not gonna let us have that so instead Tyranitar has Intimidate. Now Tapu Koko appears to be a mixed attacker here we've been able to lower his physical attack with the Intimidate but without the sand weather we don't have that natural special defense boost on the rock type Tyranitar but either way we're able to tank the rising voltage, retaliate with the earthquake it's going to be super effective and tapu koko goes down again just keeping up with the one for one trade-offs we're going to keep our lead here that's three down three to go and urshifu comes out next now there's not much tyranitar can really do here we want to keep our momentum so we don't want to switch out we're just going to let him go down to the aqua jet and that's fine tyranitar did his job taking care of the tapu koko and next for urshifu we're going to bring out our boy skeptile and brendan had one too but we're going to show him who's boss around here of course we're going to mega evolve skeptile being such a good mega having the technician ability and just being so strong we have the type advantage here as well we go for the bullet seed this is boosted by the technician as well we just need a high roll we get the one shot off we get the second shot off and of course we only get two shots if we had just even got a third we would have been able to take them out Urshifu gets off the close combat this is going to deal big damage but mega skeptile is a beast and we barely hang on with just 18 hp now we know that Urshifu knows aqua jet here however we four times resist the aqua jet so he doesn't even bother to go for it and we finish him off with one last bullet seed and Urshifu being such a big threat it's definitely a good thing that we got him out of the way but the worst is yet to come as deoxys comes out next and look at this thing an insane legendary pokemon and it's in its attack form so it's gonna hit hard we try to go for bullet seed but there's nothing we can do deoxys outspeeds but goes for the plus two priority extreme speed anyway and skeptile with just a little amount of health left is gonna go down easy peasy now this is a sticky situation we don't exactly have a good answer for deoxys we've got a dragapult in the back but even dragapult does not outspeed Deoxys. So it's up to Dracovish here to be able to tank and attack and then retaliate. Deoxys goes for the stab psychic. It's base 180 special attack, but somehow Dracovish tanks the attack. We get off the leech life and Deoxys isn't very tanky. Despite the leech life not being stab, it is a bug type and super effective. We're going to restore some health as well and Deoxys goes down in one shot. And that heals from the leech life is going to come so crucial in here. We'll see in just a minute as Brendan sends out his final Pokemon, Nihilai. I'm probably not saying his name right either, but anyways, Nihilago attacks first. It goes for the Sludge Wave, and Dracovish hangs on with exactly one HP. Insane clutch, getting the heals from the Leech Life. We get off the super effective Ficious Wren, and Nihilago goes down in one shot. And there you have it, folks. That's GG Brendan at the Safari Zone. I hope you all enjoyed the battle, and as always, thanks for watching.
watching and see you next time.